Saw my baby's dad having an affair with my own two eyes. I'm on maternity leave with a 10-month-old daughter, my first child. About three months ago my now ex-partner suddenly changed from a happy, loving, kind and caring person into someone who was sullen, argumentative, mean, and withdrawn. I confronted him about it and he said that he was depressed, and didn't love me anymore and just wanted to stay together for our daughter's sake. Then a couple of weeks later he came home late from a work trip with his colleague and I saw them kissing right outside my kitchen window as I stood inside holding our baby. It's been about a month now and I still have moments where I wonder if I'll ever be happy again. I feel so discarded and unloved. I feel that my little family and dreams for the future are all in tatters. And I'm devastated at the thought of having to share custody of my daughter. I never thought I'd be a single mom. I thought he was the love of my life, we were going to have another baby and grow old together. Now I'm 34, I feel ugly with my stretch marks and my deflated B-obs and my third degree tear. I'm still in shock and every night when my baby's asleep I lie in bed crying. Update, does knowing more give you closure or not? My WS won't answer any of my questions about AP and what his relationship with her was and is. He says it's none of my business and won't make me feel better which is probably true, but I also feel that it might give me closure. To those who did dig for that information, does it help at all? Update, 180 no contact advice for co-parents. So I've split up with my WS and I'm not considering reconciliation. However, we have a daughter so I can't go no contact and because she's so young he sees her at my house rather than move her around look up nesting if you're confused about this arrangement. Our split is very recent and I'm very hurt by it, but I've recently started to do my best to never initiate contact, only message about my daughter, etc. But he will often message me with things like good morning, how did baby sleep last night? and looking forward to seeing you both later and things like that. I'm wondering what to do should I respond and keep it brief and factual? Should I not respond? If I don't respond will that show that I care more than just a brief response would indicate? To be clear, my goal is not to get back together, my goal is to minimize my own hurt however it would be bloody nice if he realized that he's lost. He wanted to stay best friends but I feel that only made him feel less guilty and sad because he gets to be with AP but hasn't really given up what he had either. Update, my WS lawyer called him generous, nothing but a pure vent here. Context for those who haven't read my original post, my ex-partner of 6 years had an affair a few months ago while I was still on maternity leave with our baby daughter. I kicked him out and he moved into a friend's place where he is lucky to be staying rent free while we sort out our separation. I found a job and start on Monday, but in the meantime he has been continuing to pay all our bills while I'm still at home with our daughter. Also while I was still working I loaned him a big sum of money and he has agreed to pay that back even though by law he wouldn't have to. We are currently sorting out our separation agreement with our lawyers, and he came over after meeting his lawyer and said that she said he's being very generous towards me. And now when we discuss separation issues like child support and stuff he rants about how generous he is. F off ah, you cheated on me and destroyed our family, you don't get kudos because legally you could F me and our daughter over even more than you already have. Redditor's Reactions Redditor 1 Don't take their words personally. Lawyers do that for their clients. Because he is one paying for them. If you were the client they would say same for you. And yeah I personally hate lawyers. Redditor 2, this is the power of grey rock. Focus on the business and ignore all chit chat. The goal is to make him a stranger and father of your child only. Redditor 3, that's nonsense and especially so when it comes from the mouth of a cheater. The lawyer is getting money from him, and also his side of the story instead of yours, so of course she's going to side with him. Pay no mind, and tell him to shut up and stop being ridiculous. Redditor 4, he came over after meeting his lawyer and said that she said he's being very generous towards me. These words out of the mouth of a cheater, I bet he told you plenty of things while he was cheating too. Although it is possible his lawyer did in fact say this, 
I would not believe a single word that comes out of the mouth of a known cheater, liar, and someone with low morals and substandard character. Just ignore his lying words and focus on getting the best possible financial deal for you and your children. The best revenge you can possibly get is to move on and live a much better life without a cheater in it. Have a good day, Redditor5, man what a piece of work he is, he blew up your marriage after you had his child. These stories never cease to amaze me. Good luck to you and your baby.